Kanye West recently released his third collaborative album, Vultures One, featuring Ty Dolla Sign, and it is undeniable that this album has been a success, and most importantly, proved that Kanye West is uncancelable in the entertainment industry. After releasing Vultures One, Ye reclaimed his billionaire status that he had lost during his anti-Semitism controversy back in 2022, and with that, let's see the success of his Vultures One and how how exactly it turned him into a billionaire again? This is no clickbait, you feel me? Kanye actually dropped vultures, you feel me? I thought people was lying to me about Kanye dropping vultures, you feel me? Because we know Kanye is a known liar. But then I had to go check my Apple music and it's there, you feel me? And for an album, I didn't have no expectations for it, you feel me? Because I didn't know it was going to drop at all, you feel me? This was a great listen, you feel me? Oh my. Vultures One was released on 10th February 2024, accompanied by album's artwork that features Ye and his wife Bianca Sensori, and was introduced to their fans by hosting two sold-out arena-sized listening parties in Chicago and New York, where Playboy Cardi made an appearance. This is not the first time that Ye and Ty Dolla Sign have collaborated. The two have previously collaborated on tracks, Ego Death, Everything We Need, Real Friends, Only One, and Junior Part 2. So their recent project Vultures 1 features 16 tracks, dominated by hip-hop, but also encompasses house, R&B, gospel, and industrial music. Vultures 1 has not only made an impressive entry into the music scene regarding the charts, but also in live event revenue, where the five listening events hosted for this album collectively grossed over $12 million through ticket sales and have underscored the album's popularity. Other than that, despite streaming platforms Spotify and iTunes removing this album from their platforms, Vultures One debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart, marking Ye's first album to secure the top spot for multiple weeks since his collaboration with Jay-Z on Watch the Throne in 2011. Ty Dolla Sign, how do you feel about that pairing? Did you expect it? Is I that something you ever would have thought of? I didn't think Kanye would do a, a joint album like how he did with Jay-Z with Ty Dolla Sign, but I'm so delighted that he did because I, with Ty Dolla Sign, he's yeah, he doesn't get enough credit. Vocalist. And the dude just rides the shit out of every beat that he's on. He doesn't miss. Vultures One narrowly beat out Ye's new release, holding the number one album spot for the second week on Billboard 200 chart, with the equivalent of 75,000 sales in the United States, including 95 million streams and 2,000 copies sold as a complete package. And according to Billboard, Vultures One and one million dollars in its first week from sales and streams in the united states alone billboard estimates that the vulture the vultures one which debuted at number one on the billboard 200 earned a little more than one million in its opening week in the united states mostly from streaming around 892,000 from close to 169 million on demand streams now that's crazy 170 million on demand streams and you get a million dollars out of it. Vultures One stands out among other albums released around the same period time like Yeet Fourth studio album 2093, which holds the number two spot on Billboard 200 charts with the equivalent of 70,000 cells, including 79 million streams and 12,000 traditional cells. Yeet's album features guest appearances by Future and Lil Wine and was helped by the release of two deluxe versions, where Drake is featured on one of them. Vultures One also took Morgan Wallen's One Thing at a Time, which comes at the number three spot, followed by Stick Season by Nora Cahan on number four, and Scissor's SOS on the number five spot. Vultures One becomes Kanye West's 11th number one project, surpassing Eminem, who has 10 number one albums for most number one albums by a rapper. Vultures One will also be a career and life-changing pro project for both Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign because this album was produced and released with a few strings attached, 
with no labels partnership, just a distribution company, Label Engine, to help ensure the music is present on streaming services. So, what does this mean for Kanye West's career and financial status? Especially after he revealed in an interview last year that he was on the verge of bankruptcy. Well, this arrangement outside of several partnerships means that both artists are taking home a bigger percentage cut, even more than 80% of the whole income. When you collaborate with Labor Engine, their distribution company, you get 82.5% of revenue. So artists like Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign have the leverage to push that number significantly higher, which will help Kanye West to reclaim his billionaire status again. Vultures 1 is career-changing to Kanye West and shows a significant growth in his music journey because when you look way back at the start of his career, he tweeted in 2020 that when he made the College Dropout album, he earned 14% in royalties on albums sold in the US. So him now amassing such a big cut on Vultures 1 promises a big future ahead of him, proven by how far he has come already. Vultures 1 consists of 16 songs which have all contributed to its success because of the uniqueness and quality of their production. This masterpiece was contributed to by several writers like Kanye West, Ty Dolla Sign, Northwest, Barrington Hendrix, I Love, Christopher Datsun, to mention but a few. Several songs on this album have stood out and become more popular than others, but one notable one is Carnival featuring Rich the Kid and Playboy Cardi, which gained significant traction, topping the Spotify global chart and earning the number one spot on Billboard's song ranking list. Carnival was so popular that even one of the biggest social media influences, Kai Sennett, endorsed it, which Kanye appreciated and posted his video vibing to the song amidst the possibility of Kanye making an appearance on Kai Sennett's popular Twitch streams. Other songs that made a notable contribution to the success of this album are Vultures, Burn, which is number two on Billboard's song ranking list, followed by Back to Me and Talking, which was personal to Kanye West, who followed the trend of rappers featuring their kids on their albums like Travis Scott and Drake, and featured his firstborn Northwest, who did delivered lines which will for a long time be remembered like it's your bestie miss miss westie don't try to test me it's gonna get messy fans from all corners on social media have different things to say about the drop of watches one with some fans on instagram saying god and kanye really the god for real while others praise the idea of having northwest feature on this album one fan wrote north is the only nepo baby i can get behind she's talented as af others did not feel anything good or creative in the whole album as i trashed it and did not appreciate it one person wrote if we're being honest this is trash another one said he'll do anything but go to therapy on tiktok also people shared what they think of the kanye and ty dollar sign collab looking ahead kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign are not stopping as they have already announced that after Vultures 1, they are dropping two more volumes of Vultures. So, Vultures 2 and 3, scheduled to drop on March 8th and April 5th, 2024 respectively. And the success of Vultures 1 has set the anticipation and bar high for the doer's upcoming projects. Vultures 2 will feature songs like Drunk, featuring Bad Barney and Kodak Black, River featuring Young Black, Young Thug, Everybody featuring Lil Baby, and as we're still waiting for Vultures 2 and 3 to drop, I want you to tell me about your thoughts on Vultures 1 and mention your best track on this album so far. Otherwise, until next time, stay blessed. I log out here.